Hey everybody, this is your host, Mattisfaction, and today I'm going to check out a budget knife. This one. Uh, I don't remember who made it. Uh, I guess we'll just have to find out together. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know who the maker is, so we're just going to have to learn together. Uh, today's drink is cherry vanilla in my Yeti cup I mentioned. Uh, it works very well. And also today, uh, thanks to most of you in the knife community, apparently, on Instagram, uh, handkerchiefs are the way to go these days. So I bought this one, and I really liked it. This is by Ace of Hanks on Etsy. I liked the pirate theme. So, this is another one from a different person on Instagram. He goes by Z, Z Man Hanks. Uh, so, I mean, it wasn't enough that I had to like knives. Now you all have to get me to like other stuff. Come on, when does it end? When does it end? Anyway, let's get into it. This one is uh, special, and you'll see why. I guess it'll just tell you immediately why. Puzzle Autism. So let's check out this bad boy. Let's see what we're working with here. Ooh, wrapped very nicely. I almost don't want to undo it, but I'm gonna. Ooh, this one's big. This one's much bigger than this little pirate one. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, see, look at that. Here's the uh, pirate one for scale. This is like very small. But this one I wanted because it's uh, autism themed. And I work in the field that helps people with autism. Wow, the back is really cool. So I'm going to leave this here while I open this. So let's just get into it. Enough rambling. This is the CRKT. Uh, I forgot what it's called all of a sudden. But Richard Rogers Symmetry Slip Joint Front Flipper. So this is a budget gentleman's knife. Kind of like the uh, CEO flipper, which now that I think about it, I should have had here, but I don't. But this is just a nice little budget flipper to look good. And apparently it's a front flipper, but you can also flip it regular. It's got really good action. So it's not locking. This is just a nice detoint, er, detoint, it's not even a word, detent lock. But the flipping action is actually really nice and really easy. It doesn't feel weird, even though you're grabbing, like, at the top here. It doesn't feel strange. Now, I suck at front flippers, so... Ugh, almost. I was so close. You know what? We're going to sit here until I get it. There we go. This is a really nice looking knife. It's got the, uh, it's not carbon fiber, but it looks like carbon fiber. Uh, GRN inlays with the blue hardware on there. And it looks good. The blade is 8CR yabba dabba do. I think it's a three inch knife or just under. So one, two, yeah, just under. But uh, don't let the 8CR fool you, because this is this is not meant to be like a hard-working knife. This is more like a gentleman's knife. Maybe the CEO is too slim for you, and you need something just with a little bit more handle. This is a good one. 
And uh, yeah, you do have to be careful because it will bite you. So some of you will probably be turned off because it doesn't have a lock, but you know, it's okay. Not every knife is for everybody. I mean, the it, it takes a bit to push it. Not like a tremendous amount, but it does take a little bit. So it should be relatively fine. You just have to exercise caution, of course. But you know, if you're gonna use this to cut yourself a nice steak, cut in some chicken, get the meat off that T-bone or porterhouse, this thing is gonna do the trick. And it's got the IKBS ball bearings in there. Uh, the pocket clip might be reversible. I'm not 100% on that, but if you look, it might be. I mean, there's two holes there. I would assume it is. But if it's not, don't come yelling at me. Like, oh, you told me it was. I'm just saying might. My bases are covered. Wow, this has like a really good action and it sounds nice too but this is just a nice budget little knife look at the centering centering's perfect an 8cr is enough to get gentleman cutting done you're not gonna be making feather sticks or trimming fat wood with this you're gonna be Opening an envelope, pinkies out, cutting your steak, filet mignon. Ooh, I will have the steamed asparagus, please. <sighs> that actually sounds good. I'm doing this right before dinner. But this is a fun knife. So what I liked about it is it looks good. It's a budget knife, 40 bucks, and you get a lot for 40 bucks. You get a nice blade under three inches so it should be should be I'm not a lawyer or anything legal in most places and it's got good action and it's got two deployments you got your flipper which feels good and then your front flip this is just a slow thumb roll because I'm just gonna front flip it as not oh I did it yes I am now professional so I mean, it's just a fun little knife to play with. And it feels good in the hand. It's not very heavy. I know some of you like, like weights. So let's get this dirty scale out here. You can see my lights. Hello. I'm a fan. It's hot. Okay, so fluid ounces. Grams. Y'all like your grams? 68 grams. I'm trying to so you can see the number, but there you go. Okay. Now let's do ounces because this is America where I come from. 2.4 ounces. So it's a pretty light knife. Let's see. Let's do a, let's do an equal comparison here. So this was 2.4 and an equal value knife. Let's see. Uh, the Cold Steel Formax Scout 10.3. Uh, so as you can tell, I mean, they're about the same size. But this one is just, uh, it's got a different steel. And I think that's what contributes to the excess weight. But, I mean, they're essentially the same thing. But this one... Definitely will fit in your pocket a little better. It'll be a little lighter. Won't weigh your pants down. So, I think uh, if you're looking for a nice budget gentleman's knife, this one is $38.95 on Knife Center. This is the way to go right here. This guy. It's an awesome looking knife. Little lanyard loop. But I really like the colors. You got that stonewash blade, the black inlays with the dark gray, and then the uh, the blue. This is a nice knife. I like it. Some of you might not like the no lock, and that's okay. 
we're all allowed to like our own things. But if you're looking for a nice budget knife, give this a shot. Maybe you can uh, show me how to how to do the old front flip. There we go. Look at that. There we go. But George, I think he's got it. Yeah. All right. All right. So CRKT Symmetry Slip Joint Front Flipper. And this awesome, awesome little Hank here. Hanky. Handkerchief. I like it. I like it a lot. So thanks for sticking with me, and I'll catch you next time.